Oh, no. Talk about the pad first, and then we'll let, or I'm sorry, let Jose talk about the pad first, and let Ed talk about uh, commercial crew, and then we'll uh, do some interview opportunities. Thanks. Okay, absolutely. Uh, welcome to Pad B. Again, my name is Jose Perez Morales. Uh, I'm the senior project manager uh, for the Constellation program. Uh, last, the last uh, flight we have from shuttle here, and then uh, after that we have the Aries 1X flight in November last year. We basically decommissioned the pad to get it ready for the new. Uh, at that time, the Constellation program now, obviously, is going to be either heavy lift, commercial, or uh, anything that the Congress will approve, you know, next year, this year or next year. Uh, what I have here is just a couple of pictures just to familiarize you with the pad, what is inside the pad. I will go through some of the work we've been doing from, from uh, over, uh, basically 2007 and tell you what the future of 5D is going to be, you know, uh, the next two or three years. As you're familiar, this is, this is basically the perimeter of 5D. 5D is composed of basically uh, two big vessels that provide commodities to, to the orbiter. One is here, one is here. This is the hydrogen, this is the log tank. And then obviously in the center, you got all the infrastructure for the pad. We also have uh, fueling capacity. This is fuel oxidizer. This provides the hypergoals that the vehicle will use. Uh, for the new program, we have basically empty both, both of the vessels. Those vessels are going to a big refurbishment next year. We're going we're gonna to basically take them apart and uh, do a complete refurbishment of the vessels. Uh, we also are okay. going to take out a fuel farm since they are not going to be required for the new program. What is going on right now is the demolition of the FSS and RSS structure, the fixed service structure and the rotating service structure. As you can see, there's a lot of equipment up there, and unless you are very familiarized with what's up there, you might think, well, nothing has been going on. Well, there's a lot of stuff that has been taken out of the pad right now. As you can see, as you can see the, the pad, all this open portion of the rotating service structure has been demolished already and all the scrap metal has been taken out of the pad. Also, all the weather protection system was taken out last week. Uh, the hook rifle is in the process of bring, bringing up a big crane uh, in the next couple of weeks. This crane basically is going to go and start the uh, off the pad. That's what we're going to be doing is it's taking major portions of the structure down. Once it's down at the ground level, so to speak, we'll, we'll go and do the, the cutting and, and uh, recycling of the metal. For the fixed service structure, the contractor will be removing each floor and then bringing the floor down to the, to the ground, just like we build a new mobile launcher uh, in reverse. And uh, once, the, once the floor is on the ground, we, we will be obviously putting that into pieces and then uh, taking the scrap metal out. That, that's part of the recycling program they got. Uh, beside this, you can see the three major tires, uh, towers that we got here. This towers, uh, the construction of this tower started in, in the, of 207. These towers were built for any vehicle and the, the biggest vehicle that we could take out of the VAB. So, you know, back then it was Airbus 5. Today it will be heavy lift. Any vehicle that, that, that can be processed inside the VAB, those towers will provide lining protection for those towers. This tower will only provide lining protection. It's very hard to see because we got a blue sky today. But there's, there's, there's a cat and I required running all through the three towers. And then in the middle, there's a big hole where the rocket will go through. Uh, beside that, each tower has four levels. Each level will have a complete weather sensor system. You know, so 
uh, the weather people will be able to measure wind speed, pressures, uh, rain, all through the all through the tower at different levels, and then they will have the three towers to measure that. Beside that, this this these towers are going to have a, a lightning detection system. If there's ever a lightning strike occurring at the back, there's some high-speed cameras that are going to be right below where the mass is, and they are going to record all that, all that uh, capture, all that lightning. Then obviously all that energy goes down to some uh, down conductors, which will, you know, we will measure the intensity of the lightning. That way, the vehicle people will have a better understanding of that they had a problem with the lining or not. Right now we cannot do that. Hopefully in the future that would be we would be able to measure that kind of thing. Inside the flat, below the flat level, it's well all the electronic resides for the fat. Uh, this year we started removing all the cables. There were cables from the Apollo program, from the shuttle program, and it added about we got about 1.3 million feet of cable that we have removed up to now. As you can see, you know, it, it, was, it was very, very congested inside the back. All those cables have been removed and because we're, we're, we're installing new electronic new systems at the back, all those cables basically were replaced by three major fiber optic cables that come from, from the LCC. So uh, we are upgrading the pad. All the electronics that were there for Apollo, for Soto, all that was removed. We're installing new electronics that will serve either either a heavy lift or a, or a crew commercial vehicle or anything that that could be uh, launched from this pad. Uh, again, the pad is going through a lot of uh, modifications. These modifications are for the new program uh, we will be able to support any kind of vehicle as long as it can fly obviously from the back and uh, we're just awaiting the, the word from Congress on exactly what what that vehicle is going to be hopefully it's going to be the heavy lift that everybody's talking about and I think we're most ready for that.